market strategist Scott Wren. Scott, good morning. Hey, good morning, Cheryl. Well, first off, your thoughts on the numbers we're going to get in 15 minutes. We know they're going to be rough. The question is, how rough? Well, we know they are, and you know the consensus is at uh, uh, about five and a half million, or maybe a touch lower. But you have to remember, just you know, there is a wide dispersion around this consensus number, so you can really almost throw that out the window. I think we would take the over and think that we're going to see more uh, than what the consensus is expecting. Now, it's going to be terrible, no matter what it is. But the market is, you know, at least in our opinion, going to give. You know, a pretty wide berth to these economic numbers because it's just too it's just too uncertain. We know they're mm -hmm. going to be bad, and the market's going to start looking forward sooner rather than later. Well, and, well, the markets do look forward, Scott, and I'm glad that you said that because you know we all know as long-term market participants that it's if, if you're a strategist, if you're an investor, you're looking and thinking, okay, you know, did we see the bottom in March? A lot of people are saying that we might might not retest the lows that we saw March 23rd, March 24th for the markets. Morgan Stanley put out a note, their chief equity strategist did yesterday. So where are you kind of in that thinking? I know it's a big debate and nobody has a crystal ball, but that's what we have to do now as market participants is try to, to kind of look at our strategy from today and looking forward. Yeah, right. We're, well, we're pretty up into some pretty good resistance at this 2750 level on the S&P 500. And in our investment strategy committee, I mean, this has been a huge debate. But basically what we're looking for is, if not a retest of the low, at least a pretty good retest. So we think uh, the upside is limited here for now. We're looking for, I mean, you would be going against all history if you didn't think that there would be a pretty good pullback after really a 25% bounce up off that March 23rd panic low. So for us, you know, we've been looking at big down days as opportunities to step into large cap stocks, uh, technology, uh, discretionary uh, communication services. So we want our clients taking advantage of this. We don't sure. want them chasing the market here because we think we're going to have some opportunities at better levels. Uh, Scott, I want to bring Maddie Doppler. She's standing by. She's on the panel with me this morning. Maddie, jump into this conversation. Hey, Scott, you don't seem to think that a big unemployment number is going to move the market much. But at 10 a.m. when we hear from the Fed chairman, what could he say that would potentially have a big market impact today, do you think? Well, Maddie, I tell you, I think really what the what the chairman wants to do is just reassure the market that the Fed is there, that they have more tools, there's more ammo that they can use. And so that's what the market wants to hear. I think the chairman knows that's what the market uh, wants to hear. So I think we're just going to hear continue in any Fed speak that we hear from now for the next you know, few months anyway, it's all going to be about reassuring the market that we're there, we're providing liquidity, we're not out of ammunition, and we're going to do what we need to do to keep this, uh, try to keep this ball rolling. Even though we're going to see a recession, clearly we're going to have, in our opinion, you know, a very sharp uh, but short recession. We're expecting positive GDP right. in the fourth uh, quarter. Uh, but, but they're going to reassure us is what, is what the chairman's going to do. Well, we need that. We'll take it where we can get it. But real quick, Scott, before you go, I, I only got 10 seconds here, but, you know, U-shaped recovery, uh, L-shaped recovery, V-shaped recovery. Do you have a letter that you're hanging your hat on right now? Uh, still forming the bottom U-shaped recovery. U-shaped recovery. All right. Well, it is all about the economy. Hopefully, uh, those comments at 10 a.m. Eastern time can, can turn around what we're seeing right now, which is a very negative start to market. Scott Wren. Scott, thank you very much.